Hi everyone, I know it's been a while, I haven't posted a video and um, I have been very busy but um, you know I'm passionate, you know I love perfume so if I'm busy, I'm busy doing and you know being around perfume and that is something that I just can't get enough with but I'm here today to talk to you about, I'm going to just brush off on them yeah, to talk to you about three new additions um, on the website and it's from the house Mr. Wood and Ladywood Paris and it's a niche French house and um, I told you we will be going more into niche fragrances because that's what that's what I really want people to discover and uh, I got affordable niche actually you know perfume of a great great quality of a great expertise and an amazing craft that kind of gives you a sensation that you're wearing an entire story, like a, a heritage, you know? So, without further ado, I'm going to start with, and surprisingly, I love patchouli because of this perfume. I never, I've never known, I've never paid attention to patchouli in a fragrance before, until this one. And this is um, patchouli tendre soupir, I don't know if you can see that. Patchouli tendre soupir, look at this bottle, presentation is simply exquisite, you know, this house knows how to, and this is the private collection, so we, 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 we are playing in a big, you know, in a big field, and I, I like that about this presentation, very minimalist, yet chic, elegant, and this is Patchouli tendre soupir, and is marketed towards female, so with this fragrance, it's an elixir, elixir de parfum, which is a very high concentration of perfume uh, that will give you a very good long lasting power. I'm gonna take a bit of her and uh, give it a quick, but you know. And um, with a magnetic cap, this is a beautiful, beautiful. Wow, mm, uh, I like that. Actually, tendre soupir. See, the brand is a little bit, the house is a little bit, um, you know, um, secretive about the notes and the accords and how they put them together. But I can tell you here, as patchouli, like, you know, like the name says, there is patchouli, there is musk and amber. Only those three notes. Definitely, definitely well-rounded fragrance, you know, clearly made. For patchouli lovers, if you are a lover of patchouli, I know patchouli can come on strong sometimes and people feel like, ooh, that's very strong. But the way patchouli is done, you know, the way it's made and crafted in this is so beautiful, so exquisite. You feel like this is an adult scent. This is smelling adult, you know. There's no kidding. This is just beautiful. Beautiful, you know, I don't want to say more, you know, it's like, um, yeah, patchouli, definitely, like I said, is part of the notes, and um, with a delicate pinch of musk for that added peps, you know what I mean, you know, and of course, amber, amber is a main player here as well for the added charm and warmth that it brings to the fragrance, it's an absolutely well-balanced, you know, fragrance, and, um, Really, to be honest, and the thing is, at Comte de Parfum, one thing that um, I, I didn't bring it with me right there, uh, some people ask me, okay, I don't know the scent, how can I try it? On the website, you have a 10 ml size that you can try the perfume on. You know, you can try the perfume in a 10 ml size and then make up your mind. I always like the perfume to convince the person. I don't want to be the one to tell you a perfume is beautiful, is blah, blah, blah. No. The perfume has to be able to speak to you and, and say something that you feel like it resonates with you, with your style, with how you feel like you would want to smell. So it's very important for people to realize that you have to make that connection with the perfume. You have to spray it on and you have to try it on skin. And of course, you know, your hot spots and it's important to spray the perfume where it's important to spray the perfume or like some people just spray it in the air and think that you have perfume on. In fact, they're wasting their perfume. The next one, and this is marketed towards women. So, um, and it's a house that's really underrated. I don't know why. Maybe because it's exclusive. Maybe because it's in the hiding there. And for those seeking something absolutely beautiful and different, will want 
to be curious enough and find it just like i did but then i bring it to you at Col de parfum it's available to try in a 10 ml format or you can get your full bottle this is a 100 ml elixir de parfum and we have it at Col de parfum the next one is a masculine scent is um, Nuit du Soleil au Grand Trianon. Just the name reminds you of the kings and queens and you know the big places and the palaces and the, those fancy places of the 60s and the you know the 70s or the 30s. But this perfume is beyond that. The main player here. The main player here is pepper. Would you believe? Pepper. It's it's that it's peppery. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And it's amazing because you you feel like you you would not like it in the fragrance, but you definitely would. I was surprised myself. I was like, what? Pepper? I'm really curious about that fragrance. So we have cedar, we have incense, we have oud, musk, and pepper, but the main player here is pepper. But everything is so well put together, it's so well balanced that nothing overpowers. There is no, you know, there's not a note that overpowers the other. It's a perfect equilibrium, it's a perfect balance of all the notes. It's just that pepper has a way of coming out once the whole, the whole thing settles. Pepper has a way of coming out to remind you here. Hey, hey, I'm here in the background. It's definitely a gentleman fragrance. It's you wear something like this and it's just sexy, true and true. And there's no lie about it. It's, it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And like I said, this house is very underrated, but we've made it a mission to make sure that people discover about, about little gems like that, beautiful houses like this one. And... Um, uh, there will be a link where you can buy that at yeah, Comte de Parfum and uh, we'll ship pretty much everywhere but um, with a focus in within Ireland because we are located in Ireland in Cork and uh, we will be happy to answer questions and uh, I don't know, it's maybe a giveaway of a full bottle. <laughs> so this is um, a Nuit du Soleil au Grand Trianon. Look at that smashing bottle. Absolutely beautiful. The cap it's actually magnetic, you know. So, and um, the last one of the collection is Nuit et des Princes à Venise. Of course, again, very royal, you know, very in the times where, you know, things were a bit <laughs> complicated. <laughs> but elegantly complicated, you see what I mean. So, again... This is um, Nuit, du Prince, Nuit des Princes à Venise. Well, that is something, you know, a hint of patchouli, oud, amber, and sandal. And I can tell you, sandal wood here is absolutely beautiful. And every time you hear oud, don't be put off. There's nothing really oudy about them. And even if it is, is a such a westernized oud, a such a modern way of expressing, of you know, of bringing oud to the Western world, that is absolutely stunning. You know, it's a very, it's, it's a woody fragrance anyway, definitely woody. You know, with no apology, this fragrance stands out in a way where you feel like you, as much as this one is tuxedo kind of look. This could be work, but again, this could be tuxedo, this could be blazer or blazer and a cool a chino or something. Still dressed, but not overdressed, but this overdressed, you know what I mean? So these two are absolutely stunning fragrances. And like I say, you try them in a 10 mil, you make up your mind, or if you trust my words, which I would love, but I prefer you trusting your taste and trusting what you've tried in perfume because that's what perfume is about. You try it, you make up your mind, you decide, and then that's it. You make it yours or you make it or you don't. So um, I don't like to, to kind of try and convince people in buying a perfume. I want people to be convinced by the scent. That's why I made those 10 mil samples available for you to try. So the conversation is between 
you and the fragrance not so much about Corinne telling you listen this fragrance is like this fragrance is like that so but i'm happy always happy to answer your questions always happy to make videos i got to let you know that this type of houses exist and they are making exquisite perfumery with this old-fashioned way of expressing masculinity or expressing femininity or expressing whatever you know don't be caught up in gender i love wearing um uh, 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 Nuit de Prince of Venise. I love wearing that. I, I, I reach out for that more. I would more than I would reach for patchouli tendre soupi. Although I love patchouli tendre soupi, and that definitely, this is not a casual scent. Again, it's not something casual. It's something elegant. You go out, and people will go. You smell something absolutely, you know, mind blowing, exquisite, different. What is it? You know, it's not a casual scent. None of these fragrances are really casual. All this one, Nuit des Princes Avenues, can be casual chic, but it's not also it's not casual, casual. But um, Nuit du Soleil au Grand Trianon is definitely a tuxedo night thing. It's, it's a really very formal, very stylish, dress to impress, absolutely, and sprayed to, to maintain it <laughs> or to impress if it's what you're into. So it was um it was really a pleasure for me to come with you with these three editions and there is more coming more nice houses like this one um if you have any questions please put the questions down below and i will uh, try my best to answer them um they are available at Conte Parfum. like i said Conte Parfum is a legitimate registered irish website and we sell niche designer and arabic fragrances and we've launched last year and some of you know us already some of you have ordered from us already so and for that we are very 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 grateful so thank you for listening to my boring voice but um and i hope to hear from you and i just want to know what you think about this fragrance let me know if you've tried it if you know about it and if you want to try it i will leave the link to the website and you can order anytime thank you very much and have a lovely evening